Here we are. It's March 23rd, 2019, and you're on another adventure with Kodiak. Been hiking about three hours and we're almost there. Woohoo! Alright, just a little bit further, uh, maybe another 200 yards through that, right there, and we'll be there. I failed to make it back up here quickly enough, and we had about probably five to six feet of snow since crush <laughs> uh, anyway <clears throat> the plan was to reinforce with some bank line the question is should I spend hours digging the snow off of that or should I just set up a ridge line and sleep on the snow tonight what do you think the plan was to build that into something bigger and then add on to it <clears throat> I can always come back and do that during the summer I think I might like to just enjoy today, throw up a tarp, find a nice little spot nearby. Yeah! <laughs> okay, I think I found a spot. I think this will work, guys. All right. Get under that branch there. Okay. So there's that tree. To that tree it's mostly flat right here they both have a ton of branches I can use for firewood so should be a pretty sweet spot let's do this let's do this ah <laughs> Time for some water. All right, I'm gonna reel you in. All right, kind of flattened out the ground a little bit for bed and cleared off some of the lower branches. Some of it for firewood and also because I need the space around my head. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and hang that ridge line. Here my ridge line and a stick. So on the end of my line I have two Prusik knots that I can use for my tarp. So I can tension my tarp. One end and the other. They're easy to slide back and forth until they have some tension on them, like that. You can see it doesn't slide. 
but if it's loose, you can adjust it. This allows you to adjust your tarp anywhere on the ridge line quickly and easily. On this end, I just have a bowl in, and then I have the tail end tied to the loop. Woo! I'm just going to move the Prusix down a little so they're out of my way because I have to go around this tree. Grab my stick. Okay. You do the quick release. All you do is make a bite, put it through the bowling, put your stick through the bite. All you have to do, pull it out, and it's loose. Alright, I'll see you down at the other end. Okay, in order to do the trucker's hitch, you just need a little slack to start with. You're going to take the working end of your line, the main end, and you're going to make a loop. Uh, Probably gonna go. Paracord's a little stretchy, so I'm gonna go a little further away from the tree. I'm gonna do a, just a. Come on, give me some. A little loop, like that, and then you're gonna do a bite, and you're gonna go up under into the loop, and then you're gonna tighten that down. Now you don't want to pull on it yet because this is technically just a slip knot. So if I pulled on that, it would just come out. Which is another nice thing when you're cleaning all this up. <clears throat> so it looks like my ridge line's a little long. This is a long cord, so I'm gonna have to feed it all the way through here. I probably don't have to. I could probably just use a loop and leave that slack hanging out. And just use this piece. This gives you the mechanical advantage to make this a lot tighter than you could normally. It gives you basically twice as much pulling power. Now if I wanted this really tight and I wanted, didn't want it to slip like that, see how it's slipping? I could feed this through again, just wrap around and go back through this loop again and it'll bite on itself allowing you to basically almost let it go and it'll hold and then you tie your knot. And then I'm going to pinch it right there and you just go through itself and make a loop, pull it tight. Now you got your quick release, you just pull this, pulls this loop out yeah! Two Prusik knots. We'll leave one over here for one end of the tarp and start one over here for the other end. This should be nice. A couple of rocks. So I'll just one over there. <clears throat> Since my grommet's like way back there and I wanna I wanna grab it here. I'm just gonna put a rock up in it. Like this. To create a bulge that I can put a cord around. So this cord is basically a loop anyway. <clears throat> so I can grab inside here and reach around and grab it, pull itself through, and I just made a loop. A slip loop, see? So now I just need to get this around that rock. There we go. Okay. 
Now we'll go to the other end and we'll adjust it. That's how we want it. You can't see that. I'm going to bring you over here. So I got my rock right there. It'll sit in there. And I press it. Stick both my fingers through, grab, pull it through so I have a loop. Put that loop around the rock and we'll just pull. Okay, now we have a nice tight tarp, not going anywhere. And if we wanted to move it that way, all we'd have to do is loosen this one by pushing on it like that and pull on the other one. But I think we're in a good spot, so I'm going to leave it right there. Yeah! Since we have snow, I can do a little snow anchor, so all we need for this is a little bit of twine and a stick, or a couple little pieces of stick, to make a couple toggles. And since I get to cut the twine, I'm going to show off my old Moore and I have Garberg. Now you'll see a little bit difference in this compared to when you get one new. And that's, you can see the Scandinavian grind. The edge on mine looks like a mirror. See that? So what I did to this knife is, these come with the Scandinavian grind, and then they have a micro bevel on the very edge, kind of like a hollow grind, only it's really tiny, you can barely see it. I wanted it to be a full Scandi grind, so what I did is I, Took it down all the way to where the Scandinavian grind goes to the edge and then I reduced my grit until it was a mirror finish and then I finished up of course with a strap and now it's we'll shave you so anybody that needs a nice shave just come and visit me here in southern Oregon and I'll give you a shave <laughs> all right all we need is probably, I don't even know, <clears throat> not much. It's going to be right there, you know, do like a foot. We need two of those since we're doing one on each end. Oops. <laughs> it's too sharp. It went through my other cord that was hanging there. There we go, got two. Fail! Ah. All right. Can't really talk with that. So I just need a Toggle for the inside, toggle for the inside down there, a stick for the ground, and a stick for the ground down there. You need to be closer so you can see better, huh? All right, then, come here. I'm just gonna do a quick slip knot, so I'm just gonna make a loop, and then of course pass the bite back through it. Pull that tight, and now that'll move as I need to. I have a little toggle to go on the inside. So I could I could just you know what? The toggle that goes on the outside is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> either one of these would work for either one, it didn't really matter. But this one was a little longer. I did that on purpose so I could stick it in the snow further. Anyway, I'm just gonna lock that on there. Now with this end I'm just gonna do a bite I'm going to pass the bite through I have a long tail so it doesn't go slipping through and then I'm going to do that same loop de loop thing that I did earlier I'm just going to put both my fingers through reach around and grab that and pull it back through itself and I'm just going to put the toggle in that 
and that'll bite down on itself even though it has one loose string. Deep. And I'm gonna get some snow over it and peck it down on there. Ooh, it's starting to get dark, huh? Pretty sure we have plenty of time. All right, good and tight. Okay, I'm just gonna do the same thing with the front and just pull them out. In case it snows a lot, it, it did snow on the way up here. Yeah, it was nice. It really was, it was beautiful. In fact, right now, we have a pretty nice sunset over here starting. Might be difficult to see through the trees. But we can try. Oh, wait, yeah. So next time I'll probably use a little less in the front. Maybe go about 12 inches or so. That'll give me a little more to lay on underneath. This is the worst. I should just start tying this with some cordage. Because this is lame. These buckles. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. I did it. This thing's kind of dirty from last time. I'm going to wipe it up with some ice or snow, whatever you want to call it. I know, I know, everybody has the question. What is that sidearm you're carrying? That is a Springfield XD 45. This 45 carries 13 rounds. It's a little heavy, but it's worth it out here. All right. I just did not record a whole bunch of stuff that I told you. <laughs> so here we go again. Since our bed, our, yeah, our bed. My bed, since my bed is already set up and ready to go, I thought I might eat a little food. You know, everybody needs food sometimes. Bacon, onions, egg, with some garlic powder and Himalayan salt for dinner. And it's gonna be great. Near the trunk of the tree, these dead branches have gathered some sap. You can see it heavily in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Comes off like butter. Think that's enough to light our fire? Yep, mm. heard me. And...
smells good. Bacon! That bacon. Ooh, yeah. That looks good. What do you think? I'm gonna throw a little bit of this Stubbs beef spice rub, sea salt, molasses, and coffee. I haven't tried this yet. It smells really good. Put some of that in there. Have some garlic powder. Nice pinch of that in there. And a little bit more salt. Nice pinch of that in there. Warm this up a little bit, let those seasonings get soft. And then we'll throw an egg or two in it. So good. Oh man. Whoo! It smells good. It smells really good. Well, guess what? I got some homemade brown eggs. Almost picked it too long. It got a little bit warm. Really have to cook the eggs really slow. But they look good. And that is going to be amazing. Yep. Here's that is bigger. Oh man. This is the best one so far. There we go. Mmm. Oh, yep. Now that is good. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Yeah. I slept good. It was nice and warm in here. My toes got a little cold again. I don't know why. I think I might modify the sleeping bag a little bit. I was thinking maybe making a just a cap for the feet out of wool. Well, anyway, I slept well. The snow is a little lumpy. I didn't smooth it out good enough uh, in the right spot because my bed ended up being a little bit off to the side of where I had first smoothed it out. Sun's up. Time to get up. Ooh, the sun is bright today. I'm gonna grab those sunglasses and head down, 
get some water to boil. Yeah, that is good. All right, it's about time to pack up and head out. It's been fun. Thanks for joining me.
What do you think? Let's do this. Let's do this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How goofy is that? That doesn't sound very convincing. Good. We are still recording. Mm. That is good. Goodness. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course you can't see it. Whoa. Can you see it now? All right, let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. I'm running out of battery. <laughs>